Welcome back, everybody. It's been a ah, la, la, la. Welcome back, everybody. After a long break away, we are back with the crock pot unboxing video. Today we are going to be making shredded chicken nachos with a little bit of guacamole. Super easy. Just a few ingredients. I'm just going to take a little bit of time. This is a perfect recipe to make while you're um, you got classes going on or something. You just wake up, throw the chicken in the crock pot, head to classes come back and this food's gonna be ready to go and it's gonna be delicious. But first, I really definitely just bought this crock pot. Good packaging. <laughs> this was surprisingly cheap. Got it for like 17 bucks at Walmart. Um, four quart, so that means it can serve up to four people. Don't really know how the um, ratio is there, what the math behind that is, but um, Take in for face value. Really basic, simple, easy, cheap recipe. Step one, you're just gonna take two and a half to three pounds of chicken breast. Two and a half to three pounds is like three to four chicken breasts. You're gonna want boneless, skinless. We got three chicken breasts right here. Next for the chicken, all you're gonna need is two cups of salsa, whatever salsa you like. For now, we're not getting any spice out of this. We're just gonna get the flavor of the tomatoes and the chilies and whatever else, and the garlic and stuff that's in the salsa. Then, oh, one package of McCormick taco seasoning. You're gonna be like, Colton, taco seasoning, are you kidding me? You can't come up with your own mixes. But really, McCormick has a really good um, blend of spices here. There's nothing else in the ingredients besides um, just natural spices and um, seasonings. Check it out. Got an actual legit chef knife here. College cookbook is getting a little upgrade in the kitchen. We got a crock pot, we got a chef knife, we got Liquid measuring cups, it's big time now. We're the big leagues. We got a mustache, a little quarantine stash. I know you probably noticed right off the bat, Colton, that Ron Swanson mustache is beautiful, gorgeous, but thank you guys. I'll keep growing it out just for you. Shout out to uh, my track coach from high school, Coach Short, bought me a nice set. Can't thank you enough, Coach Short. Thank you for keeping the college cookbook running. First step here, we're just gonna uh, make the chicken a little smaller, that way it can fit into our crock pot easier. So I'm just gonna kind of cut it into chunks. It doesn't really matter how big or small you go because you're gonna shred it in the end. You want a, ch a chunk about that big. That way you can just shred it up and it's good to go from there. So you're gonna take your cut up chicken, just toss it in there. I just washed my hands, don't know why. I didn't do this before, wash my hands. Dump your package of taco seasoning in there. So this is two cups. Wow. So yeah, just get a jar of this and you got two cups of salsa right there. I don't even need the measuring cup. And your salsa. Oh, you hear that? I'm gonna use some tongs to toss this around, get it all nice and mixed up. We're just gonna pour this into the crock pot now. I'm gonna lid it and you're gonna turn we're gonna be on high here. We're gonna be on high. You're gonna cook on high for three to four hours until the chicken can just pull apart, cook all the way through, nice and tender. Um, I don't have an outlet up here, so I'm gonna plug it in over here on the side. Is it on? How do you know if your crock pot is on? All right, up next, we are going to make some guacamole, um, just to have for the like a little side dip, a little side dish, or you can also put it on the taco. I'll probably put it on the tacos by the end of this, but. Fuck it, do what you want with it. You need First, you need some ripe avocados. You can tell if they're ripe, if you can press it and it feels soft. To cut an avocado, very easy, you probably all know how to do this, but first you just literally cut it in half. And you take it, boom, like that. You got the pit in there. You're gonna take the knife, oh, at an angle, jam it in there. Oh my God, this is not working. You take your knife, add an angle, pop it, boom, press it out just like that. And then you're gonna take a spoon, spoon of your choice. You're gonna rub, run it around the edge of the shell of the avocado, trying to get as much off the shell as you can. Boom, pop it out just like that. And then for easy peasy slicing, put it on the face side down. You're gonna take your knife and just Oh, 
to make guacamole, just to make um, mushing it all together easier, I'm just going to dice it into little squares. Um, this way it can still be chunky, um, but it'll just be easier to mush it up. That way you're not trying to mush up all those giant pieces. All right, we got our avocado all sliced and diced up. Up next, we're going to dice this red onion. We ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We're going to half this diced red onion because we don't need the other half. This is plenty. Toss it in there. Put however much onion you think you want in there. You can take this bad boy, wrap it up, put it in a bag, hold on to it. It's a root vegetable, they last a while. All right, up next, we got some cilantro. Let's take a couple sprigs of cilantro. Um, you're gonna tear the leaves off. I don't really know about using the stem and cooking, the stems and cooking, but for this, we're just gonna tear the leaves off. After you have a decent pile of cilantro here, to chop it up, you're just gonna take a pretty sharp knife. If you don't have like a sharp knife like this, you literally can just piece it off into smaller pieces. You can eyeball it with your hands. But I'm just gonna take my knife and just roll it like this. And then you're gonna go the other way. And then just pile it back up. And just do the same thing until you have cilantro the size that you like it. This is obviously like an uneven, rough chop, but I mean, it's for freaking guacamole. Toss it in there. Up next, the sleeper ingredient, probably the most important ingredient, the lime. Um, you're just gonna, if you roll out your limes like this beforehand, you're gonna get more juice out of them, easier to squeeze, but we're probably just gonna use half a lime here. Um, the lime not only adds flavor, but avocados, as soon as they like hit the air, like after you cut them open and stuff, they turn brown and the acid and the other stuff in the lime is gonna keep it from browning. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Oh, she's cutting over here, huh? Cut it in half. Squeeze the lime in there. If you got a wooden spoon or something like flat and that's big that you can mush it all together with, go with that. But really you can use a fork, a spoon, anything. I'm just gonna take it and mush it all together. This is like I said, gonna bruise up that cilantro, bring out the flavor in that, mixing everything together, getting the avocado to the consistency you want. How long has that been up there? A little bit of salt to finish it off. Can you get a nice close up of the mustache now? Quarantine stash. Got some beautiful, chunky homemade salsa here. How many ingredients was that? We got avocados, red onion, some lime, and some salt. Four or five ingredients, super easy. Look how gorgeous that is, come on. You can make this, it's not hard. It kind of tastes weird, because I think the avocado is more right. But you don't need to know that. So since we're gonna hold on this until we get the chicken ready, let's get some plastic wrap, put it over your guacamole, and then press down so there's no exposed air right on top of the guacamole. That'll help it from browning, and it'll look just like you freshly made it. Pop this sucker, pop this mother trucker in the fridge. So we got everything ready. The chicken is a cooking in the crock pot. We got the guacamole ready. Um, the tortillas, I'm gonna hold on these until we're more closer to eating time, but stay tuned. Three hours later. All right, it's been about three to, uh, what about, three and a half hours now. We're gonna crank this electric griddle up to 250. You're literally just heating up the tortillas. I'm just gonna pull it out, shred it up. It's already pretty much shredding itself. That's how tender, yeah, it's annoying. That's how tender this chicken gets, but I'll show you how to, how to properly shred the chicken. You're gonna take two forks, and then you're just gonna go at it you still want like bite-sized pieces. That way you're not just having a complete shredded mess in your taco. All right, that's shredded up enough. We're gonna pop it back into the crock pot. Like I said, getting way more surface area covered with that delicious little mixture we have made. We'll give these a little flip. Load it up. You don't want to 
don't want too much in there. Load it up. Now, some of this chopped or diced white onion. To finish it off, some cilantro. How's that look? Pretty freaking good, huh? Now you got these perfect, hold on, one second. Probably thinking, Colton, no cheese on your tacos? No, we don't need cheese on these tacos. You got enough flavor working everywhere else. You got the beautiful little crispness from the raw white onion. The cilantro brings that grassy earthiness, that classic Mexican flavor. And then that super flavorful chicken that's just been cooking in salsa and taco seasoning all day. Here we have super easy chicken tacos. You can put these on nachos, enchiladas, burritos. You can use this guacamole recipe whenever you want. Um, super cheap, honestly. Like, I don't remember how much I spent on this. I recommend serving with a little lime wedge. Time for a little paste. Squeeze lime on there. Pick it up. I should have got smaller tortillas, but this is all they had. Mmm. That's so good. You gotta try it. This is perfect. It's obviously not super authentic Mexican food, but for a college student in your dorm, in your apartment, wherever you're living, this is probably as good as it's gonna get. The chicken is super flavorful. It's not bland like you're gonna get out of like ground beef or, I mean, steak you could probably get pretty good, but this, look at that. Got some juice. We got some drippage here, but this is gonna be like the most flavorful taco you're gonna get anywhere and probably the easiest recipe throw some chicken in the crock pot head to class go to watch your sport team play come back your chicken's ready to go all you gotta do is cut up some onion some cilantro throw it in a tortilla and dig in thanks for watching like always like comment subscribe we'll see you next time in the college cookbook cut Washing my knife with warm soap and water, warm water and soap. You don't want to put this beautiful knife in the dishwasher. You just want to take care of your things, long lasting. College kids don't have a lot of money, so take care of your things while you have them. That way they last, they last long, save you money in the long run. Well, I'm